Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Excited to store some new parts. I'm going to upgrade a few things on the car. Brake pads, rotors and stuff I need to change. So today we're just gonna upgrade them. So today, this is what I have bought. So today, this morning, I went to Yakuza Motorsports. I went to go buy DBA T2 slotted rotors and into my brake pads. Shout out to Tony from Yakuza Motorsports for hooking me up with the parts. He got me this same day delivery on special order. Thank you, Tony, champion. If you guys need parts, head over to Yakuza Motorsports. I will leave a link down in the description below for you guys to check out all the parts and where I got it from. Bobby's gone ahead to jack up the front of my car. Say hello, Bobby. Hello. What's going on? We're just at his house. I didn't have the driveway for this, so uh, yeah, we came over here today to go work on my car. Alright guys, the car is now finally jacked up. The first thing you want to do is pretty much get your tools all sorted. I'll show you guys what exactly what you're going to need. Um, it may differentiate because my lug nuts are different size. But I'll show you what you guys need. Alright, these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a breaker bar. Or you can use the impact gun if you guys have one, which I don't. Uh, ratchet, extension, your lug nut, special key and your socket uh my lug nuts are 19s so actually no wait these are 21s my reason 19 but um yeah so make sure you guys have the right socket for the right size nuts you got probably should have fucking locked it fuck Damn, I wish I really had a impact gun. Fucking hugger dugger the bitch out. Life would be so easy. Fucking hugger dugger the bitch. The wheels keep spinning. I don't have any brake pads left to hold the fucking tire for me. Alright. Okay, guys. So these are pretty much my factory rotors from since I bought the car brand new. This, I don't know, it's kind of had its had its days. It's been fucking shit. Uh, you should see, there's no uh, brake pads over there. That's kind of why the whole thing was spinning around. But we're gonna change that today. Let's go. All right, guys. Here's the, the tools you're gonna need to remove your brake caliper. You're gonna need a 14 mil spanner or a socket. <clears throat> or an imperial 9 slash 16 after you remove these two bolts your caliper should pretty much slide out the brake rotor also forgot to mention there is a 17 mil bolt behind the brake caliper that you also need to remove otherwise that brake caliper ain't coming up boys also there's another bolt over here as well that you guys have to remove so there's one on top one on the bottom followed by the 12 mil bolt which are these ones and the one underneath. Oh, sorry, they're 14, not 12. All right. Now, all you want to do is just rest it here. Yeah. Yeah. For now. And in there somewhere. Yep. And then our hub should pretty much be free, right? Oh, am I wrong? <laughs> am I forgetting something here? Okay guys, so we found a problem that I totally forgot about. I've done this before. Um, when you want to remove the hub, it's actually pressed against like... Well, I don't know what it's called. But like, yeah, so pretty much it's like stuck there. You have to put a screw or bolt in there and pretty much tighten these two. I don't know if there's another method. This is the way I do it. So that way it, press, uh, it presses out the hub for you to remove it. But pretty much if you're up to where I am, uh, after you remove your brake caliper, you want to pretty much put the same size nut in here, in the hole. <laughs> you want to put the same size nut in the hole and then you want to tighten it as much as you can until the hub presses out. And simply all you have to do is pretty much take out the hub, put a new one in and repeat everything back in reverse. Alright guys, so I pretty much figured out how to take this out. Now if you're like me and you're an idiot and you don't have a bolt to pretty much press the wheel back out, I'll show you what I did. Okay, so you need a bolt 
where else do you go? You get to the car. So what I did was, I went and removed this bolt. This was the exact same size that fits my brake rotor. I just removed that, tightened it on, and then brake rotor popped out. Now, when you're done with that, put that back in here as soon as possible because this is pretty much like a frame. So yeah, that's pretty much a shortcut how to remove it. Alright guys, so these are the new brake rotors. These are BBA T2 slotted. Check them out. Unboxing boys. Oh, they look so nice man. Alright guys, so finally opening the front brake pads. Getting ready to install. These are Intima brake pads. I uh, bought this from Yakuza Metal Sports. Uh, if you guys are interested in trying this or you want to grab a pair of brake pads, check out Yakuza for these brake pads. They sell heaps of these. They go like crazy. They're pretty cheap and affordable. I got them for, as you see right there, $79. But if you go to Yakuza, tell them that you know Susano. Number plates over there and tell them to hook you up. Fuck you, leave my big head alone, dog. Easy as done. Make sure they line up both sides. There's mounting spots in the corners. Make sure the tips of those brake pads sit right in those connectors. Okay, time check. We started this at 6 o'clock. It is now 6.01. No, wait. <laughs> 6.01? I mean, it is now 7.01. And it has taken us an hour to do this only because we went through a bit of headache. Couldn't find the bolts that we need to take off the hubs. Bobby's just going ahead to double up and double check the bolts and everything that are tight. And then we got three more to do and we are done boys. Hey, right, look at me for a second. <laughs> you look like you got makeup on your face. I look directly at the camera. Bro, look at you got like eyeliner on you. Kind of cut for you, baby. <laughs> Shoe cards. Alright boys, this is it. We finally finished doing one of the sides of the car. This is how it should look with the new brake pad and the brake rotor put together. I haven't drained up the brake fluid yet. You guys should really, really do this. It's really important. But today I'm not going to do it. Tomorrow I will be flushing out the brake fluid. So make sure you flush out your brake fluid when you do the brake rotor change and the brake pads. Because you need to service those things. Alright, it's very important. Wow, let's take a look at this real quick from a distance. Does that not look better than a stock one? Okay guys, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys stumbled upon this video today, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos like this. Sometimes, if you're new. <laughs> anyway, so if, uh, if you guys are interested in more videos on the 86, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys are new, really helps appreciate helps out the channel a lot anyways i'm gonna go ahead and tighten down these front wheels down as bobby removes the other side and then yeah we can speed things up from here bro this is what i mean when i said i needed to change my brakes you see this mark here and this mark here you should not see that <laughs> that just reminds me of something i seen on fucking avatar you should not be here <laughs> anyways so that's happening because the two brake pads as you can see, little grooves there and here. It's pretty much doing metal on metal. And I think this is beyond machining. So I had to upgrade pretty much to either OEMs or aftermarket. I've gone with the DBAs, but there was no way I was gonna save these. I wanted to change them and upgrade them anyways. So the pads here are pretty bad. There's actually nothing left. Maybe a little bit. It's like fucking like two, five percent. I don't even know. Three mil, three mil. But yeah, that your your brake rotor should not look like that whatsoever. That's a bad sign. If you see that on your car and you hear squeaking and scratching, get that shit changed or upgrade. It's pretty much almost the same price anyways. Okay, so today is the next day. Um, we already jacked up the car. We're doing now the rears of the car. I've got Abdul here with me today. And we're still at Bobby's house. Has jacked up on the rears. We got angry Mexican here today. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. We're gonna do the two rears. So it's not. And uh, yeah, that should be the end of the brakes. So pretty much we have left. We did the fronts already. Walking up over here. These are the fronts. Just a quick reminder. We did this yesterday. It got too dark to do the rears. So now we're working on the two 
Ruiz now today. So now we're just going to do one at a time on each side. Can I ask you a quick question? Me? Yeah. Yeah. How do we take off the rear uh, rotors? I've never done them before. You have to loosen the handbrake, take the calipers off. Should just pop right off. I was just saying like the front? Yeah, but you have to loosen the handbrake. Padding do we have? Oh, oh it actually it's still got a lot. You got a like, bendix. I changed the rears. You got like one third. Are we going to reuse them? Probably not, we're upgrading boys. We couldn't really fit this jack on the rears. So Bobby had to go ask his name for a jack from that guy over here. So why are you rotating it for? To loosen the handbrake. Oh, the handbrake's so easy in the Is that how you loosen the handbrake? Put a pointy thing in there and then just stick it up and down. Did you need the fucking bolt from the fucking engine there again? I've no idea. That's how I did it. <laughs> See, this, way, this method works a lot better. I like it. It just pops out. And I found it easier. That's, that's, that's what YouTube taught me. Now I'm YouTubing for other people. <laughs> yeah, well, in the workshop, you want to save time, you know? Yeah, this is fucking smack the bitch. Back to you, bro. Stupid. Damn, did you guys know that you can get? Multi stud brake rotors, because I didn't. Oh, you tucked that on pretty easy. So, pretty much putting the brake color back on is like how you took it off, right? The 14 yeah. mils, top and bottom. And I'm guessing just slapping the brake pads. Yeah. Alright, guys, we're just going to test out the brake pads. Make sure there's no sounds coming from the brake rotors and the brake pads. So far it sounds so good, I don't hear any scratch marks or squeaking. Oh, the brakes now. Oh, the brakes, feel good. How's it feel with the brake pedal? Definitely a lot fucking grippier. Fucking oath. Oh, what is going on guys? So it's probably been a couple of weeks since I last seen you guys now. Um, I'm looking to change the front tires on the car after we just did the brake rotors and the brake pads. I'm gonna show you guys what my tires look like at the moment because I'm trying to prepare my car for a drift event coming up in 22nd of April. So this is what my tires look like at the moment. We need to get these changed on the ASAP. So uh, this is what they look like. They're pretty bad. Guys, I forgot to mention something. Last time we went for wheel alignment at Blair's tires, they snapped on my uh, camber. Top hat bolts? Camber arm bolts? No, no. What, the, what are these called? I don't even know. So they top, they snapped one of my uh, bolts for my um, coil lever, camber bolts, whatever, that adjusts the top for the uh, strut. So um, I need to take this out, but I can't go for a wheel alignment until I get that fixed. Now, so pretty much it's snapped and these don't come off very easily. So I need to go down to Super Cheap Auto to go buy some WD-40 and then come back take off this goddamn thing take off that bolt if I can get it out and then put in a new one that I have in my pocket and hopefully then we can go get a real alignment but first I think I might just go get that tire changed first at the shop and then we head over to Super Cheap to go get WD-40 How's it going, bro? Ah, where is the damn WD-40? It's been a while since I've been here. Um, I have no idea. Excuse me, bro. Do you know where I can find WD-40? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, thank you. Oh, sweet. Alright. Hand side WD-40. Found it, boys. Uh, which one should we get? Cause I don't know how like bad these bolts have been stuck on there for. Can I just get penetration. Should normally the D forty should work right. Pretty sure they should do the job, guys. So I finally realized um, maybe I should spray this one first, early because I do gotta let it penetrate for about 10-15 minutes. Uh, I might as well just spray it on now. Cause uh, shit, where's my keys? 
pretty much in case it's been stuck there forever I kind of want to take it off the bonnet I mean I kind of want to like get this sorted and sprayed on now I've been fucking trying to get the little nozzle in this goddamn fucking bottle for how long it's not going in I don't know if it's because I'm stupid or it just doesn't fit Alright guys, we're finally at uh, the tyre shop. I ended up having to go to Blair's Tyres in uh, Lansdale because Lansdale Tyres were full today. They were too busy working on the car, so I brought the car over here. Um, the boys, I've already spoken to them. They're really going to change the two front tyres for me. And then I have to go back home and then readjust that bolt or take it out somehow. And then come back to do my wood limit. I don't know how long that's going to take, so it's going to take a while. So uh, yeah, we're just going to be waiting for the moment till it's out to. My mechanic. Straight from um, the Asian bro. specifics. Yes, <laughs> sketchy part. <laughs> So we're finally back home what i'm up to at the moment is trying to get this broken stud out which was used to be a bolt um i've gone ahead to loosen these i tried trying to twist it out from up here but it can only get to a certain point so uh gonna have to try and not cheat my way out of this so i'm gonna go ahead and loosen these perhaps push this down to get enough leverage so i can twist the rest of the bolt out and i can put in a new one all right you guys don't know this but it's been like about half an hour Pain trying to remove this freaking stud that's broken. Oh my god, it's been about half an hour. You don't even understand, bro. I spent ages trying to get it out from up here. That didn't work. Try taking it out from up here. That didn't work. I fed it through to the come out to this end. That didn't work. So I had to drop off my whole suspension at the front, and then I fed it through that way, and that worked out. So now I finally got it out. Thank God. You guys don't see this, but it takes. So much time, I know you guys probably seen it in the next clip straight away, but like it took me exactly probably about 30 to 40 minutes trying to take that out. And oh, bro, they made me so angry inside. <laughs> you guys don't understand. Oh my god, I'm so happy and relieved that it came out. All right, guys, it's been about a whole week since the last thing you guys since my house. Um, we're finally at Blair's Tires again. We're now getting wheel alignment. The car is now on the uh wheel alignment machine and it's about to get wheel aligned. So we're just putting on the wheel alignment right now. Got my boy hooking me up. Jeez. Um, yeah, we're on the machine. Other than that, we just get it aligned and we should be ready to rock and roll. Finally here, we're finally back at Blaze Tires. Here to get our wheel alignment. We've got my boy hooking me up over there. Here you can see it. My good old uh, Filipino friends. And uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited to get this done. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? Yeah. You know how the, the stance boys get all like like, oh, like, like very, <laughs> we should oh, like, like we should so drift weird. like broken at the Never front, just be like negative 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh like shit. Grab, grab, grab. Yeah, bro. Nah, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Oh, let's do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Nah, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> Alright guys, so our initial plan was to get these two fronts at, sorry, the two fronts at negative four, but we can only achieve it up to negative three, but the car is messed up at the moment, so it's kind of at two and a half, but when the car is off the jacks, it's about three and a half, so we're going to go for about the three and a half mark on the front camber, so negative three and a half, and that's what we're going to be going for for today, and we're going to straighten out the toy at the front, and we're going to look at the rig. And that should be it. Guys, today we have a beautiful red super that popped up at our Blaze Tires. This is the owner. Very nice to meet you. Hey, mate. Welcome to the channel. 
Uh, what other few things have you done to the car? Getting a wheel alignment done on double demerits, lovely. Oof, I like that. It sounds so good, man, when you're pulling up. Yeah, it's uh, it's neat, it's clean, yeah. and it's still stock as well. Sweet, but nothing wrong with being hang standard, but it looks absolutely nice how it is, man. Like, the paint's good. Did you get this respray or anything? Oh, it was probably the respray before I got it. Ah, oh, well. Bits and pieces of spray. Yeah. Red fades. Yeah, yeah. Red does fade. <laughs> it does, yeah. Red fades. I'm at all my Civics, all my Hondas. They were all faded, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's something about 90s red. car things. The paint jobs were like really yeah. thin. I got it as um, low as I want it. Yeah. Uh, just to make it, you know, daily drivable. Yep. Even though I don't daily it. Yeah. So good after weekend, I get the wheel alignment, stick the caps on it. I think yep. that's good for a while. Sweet, man. Enjoying the car? I like it, man. Thank you. Thanks for showing that. Thanks, mate. Anyways, guys, we're finally back home after Blair's tires. The car is now ready to go. We've done the wheel alignment. We've finalized and dialed everything down. We are now ready. I'm sorry if this has been a long video for you guys, but um, I needed to take so much time just to get the car ready for the drift event at Sydney Motorsport Park. Anyways, guys, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like the, today's content, be sure to subscribe down below because the next video we are going to be drifting at Sydney Motorsport Park for our very first time. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and do, you do not want to miss out on that episode that's coming next. So you guys already know the drill. Make sure to stay motivated out there and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.